Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and I don't know how to break it to you, but today, today is September 1st. Yeah, that's right. Today, at the time of this recording and at the time of the release of this video, is September the 1st. Now, to a lot of people, September the 1st doesn't have much significance, but to me, it really does. In fact, this September the 1st in particular has a, a little bit of extra significance for me because it was exactly 20 years ago today that I started work building my first house. I had been working all throughout the summer uh, trying to get the groundwork ready, literally, uh, you know, digging and excavating and putting in a foundation and all these things, uh, getting permits, <laughs> that, that's a big thing when you're building a new house. Uh, and I was working, 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 and it, this was a culmination of several years just trying to get to the point where I could build my house. It was open summer and I'd been working all summer to try to get to the point where I could start swinging a hammer and putting nails into wood. And it wasn't until September 1st of uh, 2004, 20 years ago today, that I first was able to start actually working on my house. Now that was a little bit deflating because the whole summer was behind me. I only, well, I only had like a couple of weeks technically of summer left and then I was going into the fall and winter and I was living in a trailer at that time and I really did not want to live another year in a travel trailer. It's great in the summer, but it's not so great in the winter. So it was a moment that I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed because I was starting a really big project, first time I'd ever built a house before, and I was starting at a point which I felt was just really too late in order to get in before the winter. Started swinging hammers and cutting boards on September 1st of 2004. Well, by Christmas of that year, we had a house up. And the reason that that house was able to be put together between September 1st and Christmas of that year was because I just kept putting in the work. Day after day, morning after morning, early, early morning after early morning, I just kept putting in the work. What needs to be done? This board needs to be cut. This board needs to be hammered in. What needs to be moved from place to place? This pile of junk is in the way of whatever the next project is. Uh, you know, that's necessary, I have to do. Time to move that pile of wood from one place to another place. Whatever needed to be done, whatever was the most critical, whatever was the most important, whatever was the most necessary thing to do at any given moment, starting on that September 1st, I just plowed forward. And the reason that I always do a video on September 1st uh, is because I think that that is a really important reminder to all of us, myself included, that, you know, whenever you are in a situation where you feel as though, you know, time is against you, and uh, you know the best time to have started some project was years ago. Today is still always at least the next best time to begin on that project and sometimes you might surprise yourself and quote unquote be in by Christmas. I know with the state of the world I know a lot of people feel uh, daunted by the idea of kind of starting now. It just feels too late to really do anything about it. And uh, there are many reactions to that kind of a feeling. One is, well, one of them is to just deny the problems are even there because you just don't want to psychologically deal uh, with that kind of uh, uh, schism between you know, what needs to be done and what you're actually willing to do. Uh, the other uh, reaction is to just say, well, you know, it's just, I'm going to be realistic about it. There's no way that I can really accomplish what I feel needs to be done in the amount of time that I feel like I have. So, you know, what's really the point of putting in any effort at all? And maybe I'll troll other people on the online who are trying to put in some effort. Um, and I would advise against these things for a couple of reasons. The most important one is I think oftentimes you can be surprised by what you can get done in a short amount of time if you're really, really willing to put in the work. I think th there's very few of us. One of my favorite uh, channels here on YouTube, much to the chagrin of many of my viewers, is Canadian Prepper's channel. I really love Nate's channel. I know he has a, you know, he has. His thumbnails are, are, you know, they're doom porn thumbnails to get people in the door. Nate's the first person that would, uh, uh, you know, put up his hand and, and admit to that because he recognizes that that's what it takes to get people to watch videos. Who knows what the title of this video is going to be? Something dark. But there are many things that, uh, you know, Nate says on his channel that I think can be really encouraging to people. One of them is just to, you know, never give up and always keep trying. Kind of the message of this video, which he drops in there pretty much in every video that he has. All of his doom porn, uh, porn is always accompanied with a lot of uh, motivational uh, uh, type of messages. But there's one thing that he routinely says where he feels like, and I think he's right about this, that people don't tend to ever really put anywhere close to 100% effort in on anything. Um, you know, myself included most of the time. You know, we push it, you know, maybe I push it to like 70% myself most of the time, but we always have that extra reservoir in us. And I think for most of us, I think most people don't even go to 70%, to be honest. Wait for this wind to pass, and I know it's 
it's not friendly for the microphone. Okay, that's probably tolerable at this point. Uh, and I think if you start pushing yourself beyond where, you know, where you're normally used to stopping, and you know, honestly, I think a lot of people, they, they stop somewhere around 50%. But if you, if you push yourself, you can be really surprised by what that extra 50 or even, you know, like I said, I only go to 70, what that extra 20% will really buy you. And uh, you can get an awful lot accomplished in an amount of time that you wouldn't think would have been possible. This last summer was a lot like my summer 20 years ago. Last, uh, that 20 years ago summer, I was dealing with delays related to contractors, delays related to permits and things like that. Uh, this summer, I was uh, dealing with a lot of delays related to a really badly sprained ankle. Uh, back at the end of March, I sprained my ankle worse than I've ever sprained it before. I was on crutches for a while, and then I kind of, I get the personality where I, I'm always, I'm pushing it, I'm pushing that percentage, and uh, sometimes I push the percentage beyond uh, where my ankle was ready for. So I kept resetting the injury, resetting the injury. This has been one of my my least productive summers ever. I have not really gotten anywhere near what I wanted to get done done. I tried to put in uh, time where I could and put in effort where I could. Uh, the only thing construction wise that I really have to show for this summer is this deck right here. And this deck was really, really critical because uh, this winter, and again, it's like that, that same kind of thing I was dealing with 20 years ago. I, I was trying to you know, get things ready for winter so I could move into my place so I didn't have to spend another winter in a trailer. Well, uh, this winter, the far door on this firewood shed, I needed to get the wood from that side because the wood on this side is the newer stuff, the wetter stuff. I need to get the dry stuff on the other side. And that thing was a good like six feet plus up, up off the ground. I needed to get, have some way of getting in there. Now I could have had a ladder and you know made it work that way over the winter. But I, for, sa for safety and ultimately I wanted to have a deck here anyway so I could walk up there and uh, you know, get wood from whichever drawer I wanted. This was a really important project for me to get done. And th at this point, this is the only thing that I really have accomplished. And as you can see, it ain't done yet. <laughs> I've got enough uh, decking boards, I think, to at least get from these rickety temporary stairs, which I built last year to get up into this door, um, uh, back to that other side. So, I, you know, I'm good enough for like the basic stuff, but it's been a really, really unproductive summer. I've done some other things, uh, putting away food. I've been working on a book that I want to share with you guys pretty soon uh, that uh, well, there'll be a video all about that book. It's a book that is something that uh, I haven't really been able to find anywhere else. Uh, it, like, uh, anyway, I'll, I'll, get into, I'll get into that in another video. I, I can't wait to finish the book just so I can have a copy of it because I think it's really important. Um, so I've been working on different things, but uh, it, you know, it, it has been you know, not my most productive summer. But I didn't give up. I kept grinding away. Whenever I could put in some work, I put in some work. If I couldn't put in work on what I thought was the most important, I put in work on other things. I tried to be productive with my time, and that's what I would like to encourage you to do. I know, again, the state of the world right now, it feels like things are just breathing down your neck and we're already out of time, but you can be surprised by two things. One, how much time we probably actually have. Sometimes things feel like that rear view mirror kind of thing. Things appear closer than they are. No, it's the other way around. It's the opposite of a rear view, uh, rear view mirror. Um, and, and also you can be surprised by how much you can actually get accomplished. So this, as every September 1st, I would encourage you, make a plan and start executing it. Even if you don't get the plan done enough, you know, just the process of going through the steps of trying to accomplish a project I think it's value in and of itself for our emotional uh, well-being, just to have a task, a task that you can set yourself to and watch that task slowly uh, you know, creep forward. Again, even if you never get to that finish line, that has intrinsic value as a human being uh, to you know, set goals for yourself and start working towards those goals. Whether you ever accomplish them or not, there's value in it. And it's even more valuable if you do accomplish it. And oftentimes, I bet you'll surprise yourself and you will. So that's it. Get up. Create a plan, start executing that plan, and even if you never reach 100% of your goals along that path, just having that direction, just having that motivation, just having that follow through day after day has intrinsic value in and of itself. Hey YouTube preppers, if you enjoyed this video, here's another that I think you might like. But before you click on it, I wanted to take a moment to thank all the people you see on the right hand side of your screen. They help to support all the work that I do here over at Patreon.com. If you'd like to join them and get your name added to the list, the link's below.